JAMA Network. Heinrich Pitch is a retired police officer. After being diagnosed with diabetes and hypertension, he was given a lot of pills to help manage his conditions. When I was um, taking the medication consisting of a variety of tablets, um, I'd have either five, six or seven tablets to take. Sometimes managing all those pills wasn't easy to do, and he isn't alone. We know there's a big shortfall in the coverage and continued usage of preventive medication, particularly in lower middle income countries. Dr. Simon Tom from the National Heart and Lung Institute, Imperial College London, and co-authors conducted a randomized clinical trial. It involved 2004 patients diagnosed with or at high risk for cardiovascular disease in India, Ireland, the Netherlands, and England. Half the patients were randomized to receive a fixed dose combination daily medication known as a polypill. The cardiovascular polypills contain statins, blood pressure lowering agents, and antiplatelet agents, typically aspirin. The other participants continued a regimen of their regular medications or usual care. But more patients at the end of the trial were taking indicated medications in the form of the fixed dose combination polypill than were in the usual care group. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. And this impact on improved adherence was supported by parallel reductions in systolic blood pressure and a reduction in LDL cholesterol. It helped me to understand that controlling your medication is important. The polypill meant that I was never out of sync. I always had the correct amount of tablets to take. Researchers also say patients with lower adherence to their medication at the beginning of the trial made the largest gains in medication adherence after follow-up. The polypill has a big public health opportunity to bridge the gap uh, of under usage of indicated and effective therapeutic medication. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.